Welcome to Ethereum Cat Herders meeting 119. I've shared agenda in chat. This is issue number 373 at Ethereum Cat Herders PM repo. On agenda today, we have a announcement for ecosystem project demo, Ethereum network upgrade, other protocol development research update um, about events fellowship and hackathon, some uh, initiatives started by cat herders and general updates. So starting with the first item on the agenda, which is ecosystem project uh, demo. Generally, we try to have this demo on ECH meeting, uh, but uh, we got this uh, demo plan in a very short period of time. So we decided to have it done separately. So for Octant Epoch 1, uh, the demo will be on October 12th at 1 p.m. I would highly encourage people to join the call if you are interested in becoming a validator, a staker at Octant app. Octant is a project by Golem, and we had uh, uh, one of his team members join in earlier calls to talk about when Octant was on Epoch Zero. Now, they have a little bit different process for uh, becoming validated and how you can stake GLM and uh, earn rewards with that. So if you are interested in learning about the process, if you have questions, please uh, join the call on October 12th at 1 p.m. EST. We are going to share details of it on Ethereum Cat Herders general channel. The next one is Ethereum network upgrade. As we all know, Ethereum is expecting Dancon upgrade. So currently proposals, there are nine proposals. They are on DevNet. We are uh, currently on DevNet 9, like the proposals are being tested over there. DevNet 10 is planned for this week if all the fixes are done on DevNet 9 so far. After 10, we are hoping to switch to public testnet, maybe starting with Godly. We'll get to know more about it. As people may know that there is another public testnet, Holsky, um, which has been recently launched with about 1.4 million validators. We are hoping for Dancon to be tested on Holsky as well. On other updates on testnets, um, MEV workflows uh, are working fine on DevNet 9 and uh, test builder relay will be tested uh, on DevNet 10. Uh, the team mentioned that they have uh, deployed the MEV flood tool. So they are trying to test in, in every possible way. There was a suggestion of including the Ethereum on ARM team for testing purposes. Hopefully they will be joining um, with DevNet 10. There is Dencon interrupt testing call that happens every other Monday. Uh, so I have added the recording of the last call, call number 32. Please take a look. And it is a very good call to get information about client readiness with respect to this upgrade. We have added all the uh, changes included in network upgrade in uh, uh, Dencon page. So at Ethereum Cat Herders, we have created this page called ethereumcatherders.com slash Dencon. You can find a lot of information there. Uh, last week, uh, we received shout out from each staker community, from Anthony Sasal. And uh, I really want to thank all those people to have visited those page and uh, leaving feedback about what, what we can add further. As of now, you can find all the nine proposals listed over there, and you can also find about testing details, like since uh, DevNet 1 to DevNet 9, whatever testing specs are there, we have tried to add as much as information possible. I have added a list of uh, recording with the authors of proposals included in Dancon. So far we have covered eight out of nine. The last one, EIP 7516, which is blob-based fee opcode, 
We are hoping to have a conversation with Ansgar Dietrich and Carl Peek on October 25. Uh, so stay tuned to get to know more about this uh, last minute proposal added to the Tenkun upgrade. On other protocol development and research, as we know, developers are preparing in parallel. So we are hoping to have a uh, preparation for Prague in parallel and um, EOF is a set of proposals that we are expecting with Prague and developers have decided to provide a demonstration on all core dev. Hopefully this week we will have a demonstration of uh, where we are with uh, respect to EOF proposals and what all proposals are there which uh, we can expect with the Prague upgrade. Moving on to the events, fellowship, and hackathon section. Um, Eat India is planned between 8 to 10 December. I don't know if we can perhaps do something over there, like um, maybe have a representation. Um, I know there was some conversation going on, but I'm not fully aware of it. Um, Santosh, do you have anything to add? I know Santosh wasn't available for quite some time. He was sick, but yeah, I just wonder. Uh, I uh, I haven't uh, discussed yet uh, with other folks. Maybe I'll try to give you an update in the ECH of this week. We'll finalize what is the plan then. Sounds perfect to me. Um. Next thing is ERC at DevConnect. So we are hoping to support uh, the... ERC editor, um, and we are hoping to support all ERC authors. So we have planned for a meet uh, in association with uh, the DevConnect team. We have reserved a room for four hours where we are hoping to have a presentation, general discussion, question answer, and maybe learn about some of the process changes that people are interested in I have added the link to the blog post shared on the uh, ECH medium about uh, DevConnect Istanbul. Please take a look and um, we'll be floating a form real soon to confirm your participation as well as if you have anything specific that you would want to learn from that uh, event or want to have demoed, we'll be happy to organize that. So check out uh, the blog post at Ethereum Cat Herders Medium. The new initiative, the ecosystem project demo, this actually the last week we released uh, the fourth, was that the fourth? I'm trying to find out. Yes, it was the fourth. So the fourth project demo has been uh, shared uh, that is with SafeStack team. It is about how to become a validator with SafeStack team. We are expecting uh, another demo by the end of this week. And um, yeah, meet the herders. I know HKDA, he is on vacation this week, but uh, he has already recorded two episodes of it. And as we mentioned in the last meeting that we are hoping to have it released in three different forms video, podcast, as well as medium blog post. So we are hoping to have this uh, releases going out one by one in uh, upcoming weeks. So stay tuned to learn about the herders. This is an interesting interview series with all the Ethereum cat herders uh, who are currently active and some of them who are not very active, but kind of pioneers of this group. I hope the series inspire more people to join the Ethereum Cat Herders community. Okay. Uh, the next one is about uh, a video series. I don't see VK on the call here. So we can perhaps skip this. And if people have any new ideas for community engagement, please feel free to share here or maybe in the um, Discord channel with us. Moving on to general updates, we have added stats to Twitter, Discord, YouTube, and LinkedIn. Um, I have also added uh, the link. If you haven't been following us, 
please uh, start following us. You will find a lot of information on Ethereum protocol development going out. Uh, it will be really helpful to keep you up to date with respect to Ethereum updates. On ECH engineering, um, I see George on the call. So yesterday we were discussing about a learn to earn Dencon page. Uh, George, if you would like to maybe talk about uh, engineering section, the L2E page and the websites. Uh, yeah, sure. So um, since last meeting, there was a couple PRs made. Um, one of them was we added Google Analytics um, to the website. Um, so now we could actually track uh, some of the traffic coming in. Um, the other update is that we also created a new page uh, called Peep and Eep on the website. Uh, I could share the link of the page right now in the chat. Um, and this is based on a Figma design. I can't recall who made the design, but um, it's really good. Um, and uh, yeah, credit to designer. So. Sorry. Yeah, that's great. Thank you so much, uh, George, for finishing up this page. I think this would be a good place holder on our website to maybe, uh, you know, share all information about Peep and Ape. I, I know this series has been really appreciated by Ethereum developers. So I hope people will be able to find it uh, easier than earlier. Although it is also available at eCat Herders channel on YouTube and also at the podcast, Ethereum Catalyst podcast. Um, a few more update on that side. I, I, I think we would be coming up with the public testnet page as well. Uh, yeah, that's in the, in the queue of updates to make. Right, so we are hoping to coming come up with a public testnet page that will include the information of active testnets. Right now we have three, Gorley, Holsky, and Sepolia. Although Holsky is not really ready for a DAP developer at this time, hoping to be ready soon. But in the meantime, people can make use of uh, the information made available for Gorley and Sepolia. We are trying to add Fawcett and also the Explorer. Any related uh, information available on the internet. We will try to add it over there so people can get information about Ethereum public test nets. And we will also try to add the list of all uh, deprecated test nets. So try to collect a history of Ethereum test nets over there. If there is any suggestion, thoughts, please feel free to add. There is an issue created on um, ECH website GitHub page. If you have anything to add, please feel free to add it over there. On learn to own side, we are hoping to create um, like this short window NFT um, program, like people can learn about the upgrade. They can answer a few questions and uh, win an NFT for that uh, upgrade. We are opening bounties, two bounties, one for NFT designing, another one is to create questions uh, for uh, this uh, L2E. This could be around 20 to 25 questions. We are hoping because we hope to have it shuffled uh, every time someone is trying to get that. If in one go they cannot finish it, then there should be new set of questions coming up. We are trying to have uh, all the information made available via Peep and Eep, so people can follow the EIPs beforehand and then try to take these questions. These are simple. We are just trying to share what Dancon upgrade will bring to the Ethereum community. So if you are a designer and if you are interested in documenting questions for this um, L2E uh, platform, please reach out to us on Ethereum Catholic Discord. All right, uh, next is ECH operations, YouTube shots. We have been adding uh, shots and uh, your different clips. I don't think it is public right now, but uh, hopefully it will be today or tomorrow. We have received quite a few appreciation 
from, uh, on a peep and eat from developers. So we are trying to create a clip of that and share it with the community. I hope that people can understand the value of uh, the series and they also follow because this has been like super helpful for community developers, the Ethereum client developers. So I'm sure people who are willing to be a client developer one day be able to uh, follow this series and be able to learn more about what is the history of Ethereum. On ECH podcast, you can find uh, all the PEEP episodes uh, released uh, uh, in the past. And we are hoping to start adding the Meet the Hodo series as well on uh, ECH podcast. On EIPS Insight, uh, in the month of October, uh, we have received two drafts. There are two proposals in last call, one proposal in fi final status and one in stagnant status. So the proposal in final status is EIP 7053 Interoperable Digital Media Indexing. Congratulations to the author for moving the proposal to the final status. There are two other proposals. Um, one is ERC 7409 Public Non-Fungible Token Emote Repository. And the last call end date is 18th October. The other one is 6963 multi-injected provider discovery and the last call is today, that is 10th of October. So people, if you have followed uh, this proposal um, and had any feedback, uh, I hope you share it with authors. So I can see the list contains quite reputed authors here. It's it's Pedro Gomez, Kosala, Hemachandra, Richard Moore. I'm hoping this proposal is like really valuable uh, for the community. So please take a look at uh, this proposal. And if you have any feedback, respond to the authors on uh, Fellowship of Ethereum Magician. We would avoid having any changes going in after the proposal is moved in the last call. So this is the time you need to act fast. All right, um, moving on. On PPNEP, uh, we have uh, released an episode on EIP 7514 Ad Max Epoch Activation Churn Limit recorded with Daplan um, just this morning. This is a small, simple, and a precautionary EIP that has been added to Dankun upgrade. It may not be effective as it is, but that is something if uh, scenario changes, it would be useful. I was really happily surprised to see that developers are so far-sighted to figure out like if, if something goes wrong, what we need to do and get that done beforehand. Um, this proposal is actually not necessary for Dankun upgrade, but that is if uh, the market changes rapidly. Check out the recording at uh, the Penny playlist. Uh, you can also find it on the Dencon playlist, which we have especially created for this upgrade. This is a small EIP added on the Denup side, the consensus layer of the Ethereum network upgrade. And for rest of the um, talks, tomorrow we are going to have a talk with the testing team. Uh, it's Haritosh. And um, I think Mario, yes. Let me quickly confirm. I know there are four people on this talk. So we are going to have a talk with uh, Paritosh Barnabas and Afri. Afri Shadoon, I am super excited to have a chat with Afri because this is going to be the first time we are going to have him on the show. I know he is one of the initial member of Ethereum Cat Herders and he has been a long time contributor to Ethereum Testnet. So I'm looking forward to have this uh, chat with him and others. Uh, the, the schedule is on, <laughs> is on October 11th at 18.30 UTC. Yeah, it's it, it's surprising. I had been trying to have him for a very long time, but for some or the other reason, we could not have Afri before. But I'm super excited to have a chat with him. 
people can also uh, refer to the schedule added in the link. We are also planning to have a Jenna Ferrin to talk about EOF. I also mentioned about 7516 with the uh, Ansgar and uh, Carl. There is this proposal EIP 4881 deposit contract snapshot interface. This proposal recently moved to the final status. However, this may or may not be in active use right now because uh, of the uh, actively changing protocol. There is an alternative that is being currently used by a beacon chain client team. Uh, but this is kind of interesting proposal and we would love to hear from the author itself, we have planned the meeting on November 2nd at 1830 UTC. Highly recommend checking out the scheduled talks on different EIPs and plan for network upgrade. Moving on to the next section, which is ECH funding. Okay. For Octant EPOC 1, we have uh, added. Um, for Octant Epoch 1, uh, ideally we are um, eligible for it. Um, we have uh, done basic need, uh, basic uh, requirement, uh, but there is something that came to my attention this morning. We are supposed to uh, add additional information at a place where we would be eligible for Epoch 2 as well. So I hope to have a conversation with BK this afternoon and get that settled. So we would be uh, ready for uh, the grant round starting from the next week. For DRIPS, um, ZK has uh, applied for the grant round. This time we are using a different wallet, uh, but um, uh, they had some different requirements. So we haven't used the public wallet. Although the information can be found in the Ethereum CAT herders GitHub repository, we have added um, um, funding file over there as per their initial requirement. We have been recently approached by OPRPGF team and um, we are hoping to participate in this grant round as well. INZK will be uh, meeting this afternoon to maybe talk about uh, how to finish up the uh, application of it as soon as possible. The deadline for this is uh, October 23. For Giveth, we could not participate uh, and they have started uh, the funding round. We hope to participate in the next uh, public good funding round as and when it starts. I also would like to mention that uh, in, in the Multisig uh, channel, we had this discussion that from the past uh, Gitcoin round, we received certain funds in the Optimism Network instead of the Ethereum mainnet as we applied on the Optimism side of it. Uh, so I just wanted to let people know that uh, multi-six signers think that it would be good to keep the funds over there. So perhaps uh, we can provide this opportunity to the contributors if they would like to request funds on OP instead of the mainnet, we can perhaps do that. We don't have a ton of funds over there, but that could be a good beginning of like making use of uh, uh, the optimism network here. If people have any thoughts, please feel free to share. And talking about that, uh, I am curious, um, is it okay to have OPRPGF being, uh, you know, um, applied on OP network? Or do we think that we should go ahead with the mainnet? Ethereum mainnet? I mean, I've already weighed in. I think it's good keeping it on OP. OP, yeah, sounds good. All right, so we'll, we'll go ahead and finish up this thing today. Okay, um, moving on, we have meeting notes. I see the notes have been up for ACDE 171, ACDC 119, and uh, editing office hour meeting agenda. Okay, we do not have it for EIP, EIP meeting 91, but I saw some conversation going on on the notes channel. I hope uh, the notes will be up soon. All right, that brings us to the end of the meeting. Anyone has any other thing to add, share?
Very well. Uh, I'm curious, anyone from the team, are they planning to go to Istanbul for DAF Connect here? No? Okay. <laughs> um, anyway, our EIP editor is going, ERC editor is going, so we are trying to organize one event with Ethereum Cat Herders over there. Anyone else um, going to Istanbul, please let us know. We'll try to, you know, kind of... Uh, share more information about Ethereum Cat Hugs with help of yours. And similarly, not only for Dev Connect, uh, for any other event, I know Eat India is coming up and if there are any other major event where people are hoping to kind of join and talk about Ethereum Cat Hugs, that would be really nice to have. And I think that concludes to <clears throat> everything listed on the agenda today. Uh, for the next meeting, uh, it would be really nice to have a project plan in advance so we can make the announcement and we can have the demo organized on the uh, cat headers call itself yeah i'll take care of it Michelle. okay perfect thank you so much and thank you all for joining us today hope to see you around have a good one everyone hey everyone Bye -bye.